Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another MB Zoomer video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, a hall sensor issue uh, that leads to the throttle cutting out. Uh, you can see I got the hall sensor cover off. Um, quick preface, um, haven't been posting many videos lately, you may have realized, so apologies for that, but uh, you know, I'm in a PhD program now and I have a girlfriend, so those two things alone are plenty to keep me busy. But anyway, um, I thought I would make this video because I've seen some other videos. I had this issue with my Sur on the other day where the, the motor is kind of stuttering and it won't, uh, and then it just cuts out. I can like reset the bike and it'll go again, still stuttering and then cut out. Uh, so I did some research and it kind of sounded to me like a hall sensor problem. Uh, and I saw these people, uh, there's a little magnet that the hall sensor detects to know what position the engine is, or the motor is in. And uh, that's important for the phase wires to be timed properly. Um, the other people I saw uh, talking about this fix, they had the engine out on a bench, uh, which takes a lot of time, obviously, to pull the entire engine out and strip it and everything. And I think that's honestly past a lot of people's skill level. So... Uh, I, I tried to do this with the engine on and you're actually able to uh, the only thing is in order to do that you need to remove these bolts um, so this is the engine mount bolt here's the other one uh, you got to pull this one all the way out and loosen this up and then same with the other side um, this one you don't have to take all the way out you just loosen it loosen this one and the engine's able to drop. So I had this issue actually after I installed uh, chain drive. It was like two days after installing. Uh, it's the Warp 9 chain drive with the rubber dampers, which is really nice. Uh, I think the issue may have been that I installed this nut with uh, a torque gun and you're, you're just supposed to put blue Loctite on and get it finger tight, so. My mistake there um, maybe that caused it maybe it didn't but I saw in another one of these um, hall sensor uh, videos that they were they also had a chain drive so I, I suspect maybe it has something to do with that but not sure so I took the hall sensor cover off you can see you can kind of get to that screw you can even like pull the the motor down a little bit when it's loose and then um, you'll notice these sharpie marks I uh, marked it so I can put the hall sensor back in the exact same spot it was. It doesn't really go back any other way because it's tight uh, with the wire there. I can only pull it out a little bit. But let's see if we can see in there. Uh, the issue is, so you see the notch on the shaft there. Uh, it's supposed to line up with that little plastic notch. There's a plastic ring around it and that ring holds the magnet. So those two notches need to line up in order for um, your your hall sensor to work properly so you don't need to go replacing the hall sensor right away just check uh, check this notch first make sure it's lined up now you can see mine isn't lined up um, I'm gonna try to get this on camera best I can I'm just gonna stick a flathead screwdriver in there really small one and kind of try to rotate it until the two notches line up so we're a little bit closer now, but I'm gonna go a little bit more to center it. Honestly, this is a, such a horrible way uh, to, uh, to mount this hall sensor magnet. Uh, I'm guessing there used to be some uh, glue on it or something and it wore off. My Suron has about 10,000 miles on it, so that's not too bad if you ask me, but um, I did this earlier and I moved it back and then I tightened it up and I was like, all right, I'll get some glue later. Uh, and I didn't even make it like one mile before it happened again. So the solution, uh, I saw in the other video I watched, uh, someone used green Loctite. Uh, I went to the hardware store, they didn't have green Loctite, they just had red Loctite. So I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I'm just gonna put some in that little notch there. Um, and then see if that does the trick. And you're gonna wanna let it cure uh, for a while. It, it takes, um, this Loctite takes like 15 minutes to set and about 24 hours to fully cure. I'll probably let it set and then I'm, I'm gonna try to ride home. So that is the easy fix for the Suron Hall sensor. Um, 
If you have any questions about that, leave it in the comment below. I just wanted you to know, you don't need to take the whole motor out. You don't need to pull these off. You don't need to open up the motor. That's just asking for trouble. All you need to do is pull the cover off um, after you uh, take the motor mounting bolts out and then you can just lift it up a little bit and get it right back in there. Uh, no problem, you're able to do this in about 30 minutes versus taking the motor out and doing all that is gonna take at least a day. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hopefully I'll get more videos coming out soon, but um, you know, time eludes me. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.